What is uh, important about the limestones is that we uh, first something about limestones also because you have you have so uh, very different kinds of limestones. Uh, the things we have to know about lim these limestones of Bilakraina is that basically here that uh, in the area where uh, today is Bilakraina um, there was uh, mostly lagoons. Uh, so lagoons they are closed. The, uh, at the end of uh, lagoons. You have some barriers, usually they are coral reefs, uh, but uh, uh, in uh, inner parts of this shallow dinaric carbonate platform, as we call it, uh, there were there were these shallow seas uh, called uh, uh, there were lagoons, and in lagoons, if they are more more open lagoons, you get white white limestones, and sometimes these these lagoons are very closed. There is almost no oxygen inside, and uh, then. Uh, you see, you, uh, you get more black limestones. This is, uh, uh, and in this, these black limestones, or even in white, you can sometimes find, find fossils. Not necessary, but you can, also in Bielakrana, you can find some very, uh, very nice uh, uh, bivalves, uh, snails, stuff like this. So, fossils. Um, so, what we get here is mostly lagoonal limestones. Only uh, in the area of Metlika, which is in this direction, somewhere, uh, so in Metlika region, uh, you can find uh, in one time, so this was at the end of uh, Jurassic, uh, the big uh, barrier reef, the coral reef originated, and from this time uh, near Metlika, you can find very nice coral, uh, coral uh, fossils. So you could, if you look at the limestones, you will see uh, corals actually jumping out of the of the rock. They are very, very well preserved. So this is one, air, one the only um, different kind of the limestone that it's uh, find, uh, that, is, that, that, that can be found in Bilakrai. Um, okay, enough of limestones. Uh, uh, and then what happened, uh, just before the dinarids went to, uh, so the tectonic movements uh, started to, uh, take the limestones up to make the mountains, uh, the whole area uh, subsided a little bit, so it went down. And in, uh, from this period, we have one very interested rock, uh, interesting rock in Bielekraina, and this is found only in the uh, north of Metlika, uh, in this uh, vineyards, uh, north of Metlika, in Drasici region, and uh, it's called Flish. It, it was deposited in deep sea, uh, and it's made of uh, marls and it's made of sandstones and some some breccias. So it was basically just before uh, everything went up it, in in the Tlika region, it went down a little bit, so it subsided to the deep sea, and uh, a lot of marls sedimented, and from the uh, margins of deep sea, uh, also some breccias come came inside of, of this uh, uh, into this uh, deep deep sea. We call it basin, uh, geologists, geologists we call it basin. Uh, so this fleece deposited and then everything went up. At the end of Mesozoic, which is uh, let's say around six, uh, 65 million years ago, this is when uh, dinosaurs went ex extinct. Um, after this first uh, event, when everything went down, the whole region uplifted uh, and became uh, land. Uh, and uh, this is what we see basically today. Uh, it's as we see, we are on the continent. It's uplifted. In the background, we see the dinaric chain. So these big uh, mountains that start from Slovenia and they go uh, through Croatia and Bosnia and Herzegovina down to Montenegro. Um, and they are all made of very similar uh, rocks. These uh, lim limestone rocks. Uh, but uh, what is uh, important about uh, the, the Bela Kraina, then uh, just uh, maybe 20 years ago, which is geologically a uh, very young period, the central uh, uh, Bela Kraina started to uh, subside again. And this is connected to the subsidence of the uh, Pannonian, we call it basin, the, the Pannonian lowlands. So the whole uh, area of the present day, more or less Hungary, uh, started to subside and we are on the margin of these big uh, flat areas. 
and also the central part where we stay now, when we, where we uh, uh, stay, uh, stay now, started to subside also. So uh, all around, we see still the uh, dynamic uh, mountains, and the area of Belakraina is subsided. Uh, it's a little bit down. It's uh, more. It's lowland. It's it's quite flat. It's not totally flat because it's made mostly of, of limestone, so you have a lot of these karstic regions. But uh, it's quite uh, it's quite flat. It's also quite subsided. Uh, and one uh, central part of Vilakrana, This is uh, ex exactly the place uh, we stay uh, now. Uh, subsided more. So uh, it was not. Uh, 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 land anymore, but it turned into the lake. Let's say it lake. It was never actually a sea. It was more more uh, a lake or a marsh. So and in this marsh, a lot of uh, material sedimented. There were mostly clays and uh, mm, let's say marls and stuff like this. But uh, uh, in some periods, the, some periods there was also a lot of uh, organic. Uh, stuff, so the trees and stuff like this that uh, was growing in the marsh, and from this organic stuff the coal originated. This is the reason we, we chosen this place for, for an interview. We stay uh, here near uh, uh, of the coal mine. So this, uh, in last uh, approximately five million, years ago, uh, five million years ago, in this area where we stay now also all around, uh, everything subsided a bit more and uh, it became this marsh and coals or originated in this, mar uh, in this marsh and it, they subsided. It, it was continuous su subsidence maybe for uh, one, million, one million of years or something like this. So you have uh, four, four, four layers of coal. They're quite thick. They, uh, the thickness is around uh, 10 meters thick and uh, they are folded a little bit. So towards this direction they are flat and they are 300 meters uh, below on the, this level. And then uh, towards the uh, place we stay, uh, uh, we stay now, they um, start to go up, 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 and exactly uh, in this place where we are standing now, they, they were uh, exposed uh, to the, uh, so sub-aerially uh, exposed. So they started to dig a coal mine uh, more than 100 years ago, and during the communistic area, the big mine for, uh, was uh, created here. Uh, we see still remains here. And they were digging the coal uh, 300 meters uh, deep, uh, deep down uh, in this direction. And then they followed, uh, followed the, uh, the, these layers uh, towards the east, so in this, in this direction. Uh, and then in the beginning of the 19th, uh, this, uh, because it was uh, uh, underground mine, this became really not economic anymore and they closed uh, this mine. Uh, today it's a small museum uh, here in this area. See that this tower is standing. You can see some tunnel below us with some machines and uh, also in this house here. Uh, there is small geological collection.